So for my final leg of this awesome Triple D tour of Florence, I'm over the Ponte Vecchio Bridge on the older side of Florence. Now, what would you get over here? Well, you got antique shops, you got businesses for the locals, and of course, I find a pizzeria. And not just any pizzeria, I'm talking an old school, real deal, Neapolitan pizzeria. That's right, this is Il Gusta Pizza. Guys, the Caprici. Blew my mind. From the minute you walk in the door here, it's just amazing. It's kind of what you're looking for when you come to Italy. It's really authentic. You've got the four brothers running around back there. Those are the brothers Maruca, who moved to Florence when their brother Pasquale opened their first joint in 04. We started with the Gusta Panino. We make sandwich. And after, we do Gusta Pizza. We do fresh every time. Calabrese. This pizza is amazing. It's uh, the best pizza I ever had. What kind of machine is this? It's an impastatrice a braccio. It's like a bra, it's like this, you know, like. We're we gonna make dough? Yeah, water. Salt. That's a lot of salt. Now, the Easter live yeast. Just two minutes. Okay. Now we open it. And caputo. Caputo, it's the best flour. It's the best. Okay. Let this go for 25 minutes and we pull it out? Yes. We put oil on top. OK. And leave it for five minutes. And after, we do the bowl for the pizza. Then we make the pizza. We start now with the calabrese pizza, with the calabrese. spicy salami. And that is just tomato Hello. sauce, solamente. Yeah. Parmigiano cheese. OK. Mozzarella. Salamino piccante. Kind of tastes like pepperoni. Jeez, you load that up, buddy. Basil. You put the basil before it goes in the oven. Yeah, the smell, you know, roasted basil. basil. Extra virgin olive oil. Can you help me? Yes, absolutely. Ready? Coming. Where? Here, it's uh, like. Now it's ready. All these burns, that's part of the program. Beautiful. You can test. Uh, Nice little crust on the bottom of it. Manja fuoco. Manja fuoco. I love that you put oil on the basil. You definitely get yeah. that perfume. Oh, that's killer, man. OK, you try. Tell me what you think. I think it's really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really hot. <laughs> now what are we making? We're making calzone napoletano. Calzone from Naples. Yeah. Ricotta. Parmigiano cheese and a little mozzarella. Now we do the slice of salami. It's a salame napoletano from Naples. Okay. Sweet salami. So you get the salami from Naples. Everything is from Naples. Black pepper. And that's it. Yeah. Wait, we put the sauce on now? When it cooks? Yeah. I've made a lot of calzones. I've never seen it this way. And then we're gonna put the basil up on top. Yeah. Okay, this is completely, I'm out. And a little bit of olive oil. Okay? No, this is all you this time, homie. All right? And how long? Two minutes and half, three minutes. It should be good. Is it ready? Ready. Let's do it. Very nice. I like that little sauce on top technique, man. I bet you inside it's not hot. I think you it's hot. First. You try. You try first. first. No, you are. No, I, I bet. I'm the one that made the bet. You try first. We try together. Uh, hot. Hot. There's a lot of depth to this. You've got great crust. You know, you've got some nice flavor coming from the salami. I love the tomato sauce on top. And the crota. This has got a little bit of tang to it. This guy's the real deal. Thank you. Tell you, brother. Very nice. <laughs>